Hey everyone, it's Zareldo here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the seventh class I designed, Blazebinder. This is one a lot of you have been asking for, so uh, I'm finally doing it. Uh, now, here's something to remember about this class. It is what we call a Tier 2 class. There are only three of these in the game, and two of them are a bit outdated. The other two are Paladin and Doom Knight, and uh, this Blazebinder is the third. Now, I, I just want to talk a bit about that. Tier 2 classes are meant to be significantly more powerful than their Tier 1 counterparts. What determines a Tier 2 class is the requirements. In this case it's generally something like two classes or two reputation requirements. So uh, it's a little different uh, and I had a bit of fun with this so hope you enjoy. In order to get the Blazebinder class, you're going to have to join Fireforge. So that slash join Fireforge, there'll be a this there'll be a uh, written version of that in the description in case you couldn't see or hear it. Don't do what I did and type Fireforge. You want to get to the right place. So once you get here, you simply talk to the High Adept Caustus guy. Go to Blazebinder class, and you've got two options here. Either the you click on Adventure Coin Pyromancer or Pyromancer, and once you get there, there's going to be the Darkness Sigil and the Flame Sigil. You'll need both of these, and they're actually free. All you've got to do is get rank 10 Doomwood to get this one, and rank 10 Embassy for this one. Once you do that, you simply go to the Rev Class store, and get Blazebinder by merging the two together. Alternatively, you can just go for an Adventure Coin shortcut, and buy it here. That's how you get it, nice and simple. Well, not really, there's a bit of riffing to do. Once you have your Blazebinder class, you're going to want to go and enhance it with Wizard Enhancements. Now, I'd recommend Wizard over Luck for sure, because this class is, well, all the moves are magical, as you can see here. But this final move here, which is your big damage move, can't crit. So, that's where most of your damage is coming from, your luck's not going to increase how much that can hit, or the chances of it critting, because it can't crit. Uh, this one, this is more repeatable crits, so it's not really... Yeah, crit chance isn't going to help here either. Crit damage will bring it up a bit, but it's not really worth the time to put into it. So when you look here, we can um, see that Blazebinders regen in the same way that mages do. They regen from all hits landed in combat, especially on crits, but they also regen more if they've got less HP. So keep that in mind. You also have two passives. You've got Seer Flesh, 20% damage to dots. That's a really nice increase there. And Seer Bone, 10% outgoing damage. So you can get some good ideas there. Finally, you've got your rank 10 passive, which is the exact same as Pyromancer, which dramatically increases your haste and uh, MP regen. It increases your haste, so the speed at which your um, moves can be used again by about four times. As for your ore enhancements, I just recommend going with health vamp because Spiral Carve normally does crits and crits don't really help this class at all. Just as a bit of a disclaimer, as usual, I'm using a stable damage weapon. That means my attacks are always going to do the exact same amount. You're welcome to use an unstable damage range weapon, which will make your attacks go way higher or way lower, but I'm just doing this so I can show you the um, exact average. So your first move is called Combustion Blaze. Now this costs 10 mana and has a 4 second cooldown. It can affect 3 targets. Uh, this, uh, your first, second and fourth moves all actually affect 3 targets. Now as you can see, it's actually a guaranteed crit and has a dot or a damage over time that applies for 4 seconds or for 2 ticks or 2 strikes. It does 97 damage here, which is a small amount but it's a nice little supplement. So it's just extra damage that you can sort of rely on to always be there. So that's nice. Your second move is called Choking Shadow Smoke, 20, 25 mana and an 8 second cooldown. Now this has a small chance, it's a 40% chance to stun your opponents for 2 seconds, but most of the time it'll just apply the dot and apply a 25% accuracy debuff, so they're 25% more likely to miss when they attack. Uh, this one's power comes from the damage over time. As you can see, it's about 271. So if you combine both damage over times here, you're sitting just under 400, which is nice sort of damage every tick. The uh, 
the thing to notice here is that the damage over time sort of expires right when this sort of effect ends, meaning you can loop it, you can just keep that damage going and going and going, so both of those damage over times can just uh, keep going and going and going. Your uh, third move, Fire in Your Skin, costs 30 mana and has a 16 second cooldown. This applies the Burning Ward effect from Pyromancer, which, as you can see, re well, not really, <laughs> there you go, reflects the damage done to you back at your opponent, as well as healing you over time for essentially the full duration of the effect for the uh, full time. So that's nice. Uh, definitely want to use this sort of whenever you can to keep your health up and to reflect at your opponents. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. This move here makes your opponents 25% less likely to hit you. If they can't hit you, you can't reflect their damage back at them. So you might not want to use this move in conjunction with this. You might want to just ease up on that. I mean, if you're more important, if you value the damage you're doing more than the potential heal or the potential damage reflection, then that's your choice. But it's just something worth thinking about. Finally, you have Dark Fire. This is quite a nice one because it cannot miss. This is your your nuke, your big damage move. Cannot miss. Uh, cannot crit though, so just remember that. You cannot crit, just like here you can't non-crit, here you can't crit. So, as you can see for a non-crit it does a fair amount, 1600, and it also does a damage over time, which lasts for 4 seconds, which is also fairly nice. Now if you have all three damage over times applied at once, you'll see well, a lot of orange hits, but you'll be doing about 500 damage per tick. Now, these two are loopable. You can just keep these going with the damage over time, but you can't here. So, uh, this will just be the extra little dot, the um, icing on the cake, but here's where your damage over time power is coming from, and here's where your sort of on hit power is coming from. Uh, the other thing to remember is that this move has two effects, and both have an even chance to apply you will either increase the damage of all damage over time effects by 10%. So uh, we'll watch for that. The other thing it can do is decrease the amount of damage your opponents do by 20% for about 8 seconds as well, I think. So if you combine that with this move here, they're not likely to hit you, and when they do, they won't do as much damage. Or you've just got three really powerful damage over times. So let's just uh, put a few moves together and see how it goes. Now this is um, overall a nice sort of area of effect class. It's really reliable and sustainable. You sort of know what you're going to get. You can just button mash if you want, but there is a little bit of scope for strategy. Just a little. Uh, and as I said, the reason it's so powerful for an AoE class is because it's a tier 2 and requires essentially two other classes or two two rank 10 reputations to get. Uh, the one weakness this class has would be uh, running out of mana and that's what will potentially happen if you just spam your moves. Although that said, sometimes like now, you do fine just with mana. There you go. So. I hope you enjoy Blazebinder. I had a lot of fun making it. In fact, I'm going to do a little sort of behind the scenes video next, just with some Blazebinder trivia. I thought I wouldn't keep it in this video. Uh, if you want a reliable area of effect farming class, I think I definitely recommend Blazebinder as your go-to class. It's reliable, it heals well, it's got a cool effect and it just, it just works. So, yeah, get it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be making more soon. Until then, bye.